Hi, my name is Sean. I am a pin setter mechanic. I am certified to work on Brunswick A, A2, and Jetback pin setters. Now, the purpose of me making these videos is to help those who have not had either the proper training or just need a little bit help with some questions along the way. Now, the first thing we're going to be doing is the detector rod adjustment. Uh, I'm going to make a series of videos going through all the adjustments and as much as I do not believe that the detector rod is the uh, first adjustment you need to learn, I'm going to keep these all in order so that way you have ease of access through the playlist. Now, now I have a machine down ready to go so that way I can go through and teach as much as I can. Now the tools you're going to need are are going to be a flashlight, a 716th wrench, and a um, pair of your X washer pliers. Now the first thing you're going to do is you're going to get your machine to 90 degrees. A couple ways you can tell that is the deck is down and forward the rake is also down and forward as well as you can tell with timing marks on the side of your detector so with your machine at 90 degrees what you're going to do is you're going to install the detector rod that you need now your detector rod goes and connects to your detector disc right here don't know if you guys can see that but we're going to get down and we're going to see so with your machine at 90 degrees and everything good you want to make sure that it's turned off completely you have your two switches in the back there and then you want to make sure that your breaker is off and it's is unplugged all right so down here you might be able to see just barely the detector rod maybe it's about right here don't know if you guys are picking up on that but it's about right here and that's where you're going to be screwing the end of your detector rod into So the process is kind of stupid. Got to have tiny hands, but right here, and we're just going to screw it in. Now I'm going to screw it in until this nut is pretty close to where I need it to be. So now that the nut, the jam nut is up there, the next thing you have to look for is on the detector rod itself. There is uh, roll pins going through. There's uh, two of them. Now, what you want to make sure is that on this bracket, on the gearbox, that this first set of pins is sitting on top of that bracket. And then the next thing you want to make sure is that right here on the uh, rod is that this Allen head bolt which is used for adjusting on your collar is going to be lined up with this hole on the bracket that's on the deck lift shaft. So with your roll pins on top of the bracket, your Allen head on the stop collar is facing the hole on the bracket on the deck lift shaft. You want to go ahead and slide this X washer pin in to keep this set. So then with that, then you will put your X washer pin on next. Okay, now your detector rod is installed. So now we have to go up and make sure that 
everything's close to adjust adjusted or make the adjustments so what we'll have to do is we'll have to get the machine back up to zero now we'll have to get our machine back up to zero so we'll have to plug in turn our breaker on and get it back to zero Maybe. Okay. So now, with everything back at zero, the one thing you need to look at first is right here. Now, right here, there is a little spot on the detector disc that holds, um, it stops your cam followers in the detector itself from doing specific motions now what you want to look for is right in here there is a gap that gap according to the book says no more than let's see where is it? it says the distance must not be less than 1 16th is preferred to maintain the 1 16th dimension as close as possible. So as long as it is not less than a 16th of an inch, you should be fine. That right there looks fine. But what you want to do, just in case that that measurement is not correct, is you will have to, at zero, go ahead and rotate the detector rod um, Oh, moving the detector disc right there um, forward or backwards to get that gap needed our gap right now as it sits is fine so I am not going to move that so the next thing that we'll have to do is get it back to 90 degrees on a first ball strike to remember that always on a first ball strike so first ball now we'll get it to a first ball strike at 90 degrees all right now at 90 degrees on a first ball strike detection you're going to need your 7 16th wrench your allen wrench flashlight as well same as normal as well as making sure it's off in the back breakers off and unplugged as well now that we know that our gap up at the detector disc is good what we'll do is we're going to tighten this jam nut here to ensure nothing moves while we are making the second half of the adjustment now that that is tight, what we have to do is loosen the Allen head screw that is there on the stop collar. So with the second half of the adjustment, what we will do is push up completely on the tube, not compressing the spring that is inside here. So a good way to do this is to push on the bottom of the rod, not the bottom of the tube. So that way it does not move more than it is sh should. So as it is completely up, we're going to drop it an eighth of an inch and tighten the stop collar from there. Okay, now when you go next, um, there should be about an eighth an eighth of an inch when you push on the bottom of the rod that it moves up which seems like about the same distance of what we moved it down from here which next what we'll have to do is we will have to we'll have to go up on the machine again and run it through check it make sure that it detects all the standing pins no pins and everything else that it needs to. So you have to run the machine back up to zero. Okay, 
Now that we'll send pins. So we should be able to cycle it and then it will do its 90 degree detection saying that there is a strike and it should go out of a 180 and set a new rack of pins. If it doesn't, then something is wrong. Alright, next, it should detect standing pins. The scissors should close, pick up all the pins, sweep, set them back, and go back to zero with no issues. No pins swept, it set it all good. So now, there should, this is your second ball cycle. So this should sweep all the pins. Deck should not go down until uh, after 180 to set a new rack of pins. So as you can see, everything functions normal and we should be back in business. So, that is everything I'm going to be able to teach you on this adjustment. If there's anything I can do to help anyone out, let me know. If there's any way I can do to improve these, also let me know. And if there's any questions, please feel free to ask. I will answer to them to the best of my knowledge. I, am, like I said, I am certified to work on these, so I have a great deal of knowledge and I've had a good mentor. I know not everybody has. So again, I'm trying to help. And if there's any questions, please ask. And if not, then I will see you guys in the next video for the next adjustment, which will be the rake sweep hook adjustment.